Good morning, my dear children and parents. Welcome to class ninth of Indus Valley Public School, Raj. My dear children, today we are going to study a lesson from Beehives. The name of the lesson is The Sound of Music, Part One. Evelyn Glaney, listen to sounds without hearing it. Written by Deborah Cowley. Okay. So in this lesson, we are going to study about the inspiration of those who are physically handicapped. The author has shown how handicapped person are to face trouble and difficulties in their life. Most of them make a compromise with their destiny. They accept. their handicapped life and to take begging or some other lawless activities but some person being handicapped do not give to their life they struggle hard they fight it hard and rise themselves to a higher position in life to the handicapped life is not a curse but a boon so this is a story of a small girl of 11 evelyn glady gets her hearing capacity totally killed but she does not give she struggles hard activities and learn the music and become the most sensational music star in the world she becomes a figure of inspiration for disabled people so my dear children a uh, similar disabled story we have studied in class 8 a visit to cambridge also where we have seen stephen hawkins a famous scientist how he became a famous scientist being having a disability and similarly a writer was a fedos kangana so he was also a famous writer they both were having physically they both were physically disabled but a known face of the world okay so even stephens has also given a message to the disabled people also ki if you are good means whatever the good quality you are possessing work on it you can make strong that and you can become an inspiration for others also it is not like ki if you are physically disabled then you are not to, can you cannot do anything no it is your own inspiration your own will power your own inner soul will make you strong to do anything for example if you think that you have to top the examination or you want to become some a uh, good person some famous person so you will start thinking in that particular fashion and then you can see yourself on that point after some time but for that you need to do some hard work you need to prove yourself you have to face some of the uh, struggles and you have to beat the struggle and you can be on that point so here we will be learning about a girl how she had faced her disabled uh, disability her physically handicapped situation and become a star in the world a music star in the world okay so before we start the lesson we will be studying about the writer and the name of the writer is Deborah Cowley so here is about the author Deborah Cowley is an Ottawa based writer and broadcaster. She has traveled the world while writing more than 100 articles for different editions of the Reader's Digest. She has been an on air broadcaster for CBC Radio in Washington DC and worked for CBC Television in London and Cairo, Egypt. She is the author of Cairo a practical guide now in its 17th edition of Lucille Testale Doctor of Courage 
shortlisted for the Ottawa Book Award with her husband George Cowley. She wrote One Woman's Journey, a portrait of Pauline Vigneau. She has been a member of Writers Union of Canada since 2001. And the mail ID is Deb Cowley at the race sympathetico.ca this is what about Deborah Curley so now moving to the lesson we will be studying about the lesson so before we start the lesson we will be reading about the see this is the lesson so part one sound of music part one Evelyn Glenny listens to sounds without hearing it so before you read, God may have taken her hearing, but he has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels far more deeply than any one of us. That is why she expresses music so beautifully. So now what is there? It is told about Ki someone has commented this about Evelyn so these lines are for Evelyn he says that although God took away her hearing power she was impaired but he gave her an extraordinary thing and that was the sense of feeling she could feel very deeply far more deeply than the normal people and that is why she was able to express music so beautifully so well she is well known multi percussionist she plays different percussions instrument like xylophone trumps okay so now we are going to study so from here we come to know the theme of the story and the message we get from the story the story of Evelyn Glenny is a motivational story it inspires all of us to overcome our physical disabilities and archive our dreams and goals just like Evelyn did so this is an inspirational as well as motivational story so coming to the first paragraph it is Rush, uh, before I start, I'll give you some instructions, my dear children. See, some of the new words are there that I have highlighted it. And in the bracket, just after that word, I have written the meaning of that particular word. Please go through it and you will write these words in your notebook along with the meaning. Okay, fine. So, here we are going to start with the lesson. Rush asks crowds jostle for position on the underground train platform a slight girl looking younger than her 17 years was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibration of the approaching train so now the word jostle jostle means push roughly so here what is the scene the scene is of the train platform and it is underground and there is a huge rush at the platform people are pushing each other to get away okay there is a small thin girl it is Evelyn Evelyn is standing at the railway platform waiting for the train and just as she feels the vibration of the approaching train she realizes that the train is about to come she get nervous and excited. This is the train that will take Evelyn to London. She is going to London to learn music as she has got admission in the Royal Academy of Music. Right now, uh, Evelyn is in Scotland because she belongs to Scotland. So that is why Evelyn is nervous because she is learning Scotland sorry she is leaving Scotland for London and she is excited because 
she is doing something that she always dreamt of she is going to the royal academy of music to learn music okay so now this is over there so it was her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london and daunting enough for her teen teenage of fresh from a scottish farm so now daunting daunting means hota hai aapka frightening or uh, scary okay that means dar jana and teenagers the age of the children from 13 till 19 so that teen comes no it becomes a teenager a person who is in in his or her teens so this is there so now coming the explanation evelyn is 17 years of age now when she is going to that music school she is a teenager and she is fresh from a scottish farm and evelyn is from scotland which has more of farms and countryside so she has not seen fast life okay that is why she is nervous and the writer says that she is fresh from a scottish farm okay why she is the fresh from scottish farm because she has not seen the fast life scottish is a place where um, it is a farm where more number of farms are there countryside is a web slow life is there okay but this inspiring music faced a bigger challenge that most she was profoundly deaf so aspiring musician means a person who wants to be a musician means a deep love for the music okay and one more new word was the profoundly that means absolutely deaf means fully deaf okay very much fully so here in this line it is told that evelyn could not hear and uh, this was a bigger challenge for her moving from a rural uh, rural area to a fast life was a small challenge evelyn faced a much bigger challenge that was her inability to hear so two challenges were there what were they first she is moving from a rural area to a very fast moving area okay and उससे भी बड़ा चैलेंज किया था बिकॉज शी डू नॉट हैव द यूरिंग कैपेसिटी एंड शी फील्स ऑल दिस फ्रॉम एन मेनी अदर सेंसेस बट शी कैन नॉट योर दिस वॉज द सेकेंड एंड द फोमोस्ट चैलेंज फॉर हर अवलिन ग्लैन इज लॉस ऑफ यूरिंग हैड बीन ग्रेचुअल सो ग्रेचुअल मीन स्लो प्रोसेस इन फेस मतलब वो एकदम से नहीं बस धीरे धीरे उसके सुनने की क्षमता कम हो गई थी okay so slowly slowly she started losing the power of hearing and one day she was absolutely deaf fully deaf okay now her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the 8 year old evelyn was waiting uh, waiting to play the piano they called her name she did not move i suddenly realized she hadn't heard says isabel glini so her mother is saying that ki evelyn recall evelyn mother isabel recollect one incident when evelyn was 8 years old she says that uh, evelyn was waiting for her turn to play piano but when her name was called out she did not respond and her mother realized and she realized that Evelyn did not respond to her name that means she did not hear her name being called out okay so for quite a while Evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers the so conceal means to hide so now what happened now as Evelyn lost her sense of hearing it was a slow process so in the beginning when she could not hear partially means kuch kuch usko nahi sunai deta tha then she managed to hide his disability from his uh, friends for, sorry from her friends and teachers but by the time she was 
so by 8 years old she started her deafness problem but and she was hiding that thing but when she turned to 11 let's see what happened but by the time she was 11 her marks and deteriorated her had mistress urged her parents uh, to take her to a specialist so now what happened so what happened uh, here when she was 11 so her marks had started deteriorating means reduced so all other situation critically so her headmistress requested her parents to take her to the specialist to take her to the doctor in order to get the treatment it was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage impaired means totally weakened totally destroyed so when the doctor checked up evelyn he found out that evelyn had lost the sense of hearing okay so they were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aid and sent to a school for the deaf so now what happened so doctor advised evelyn parents that they should get hearing aids for her hearing aids is an equipment that is fitted into ears and it helps a person to hear to some extent okay it's a device it's a machine that is put inside the ear so that a person can hear something then the doctor also suggested that evelyn should be sent to the school for the deaf children so she should be sent to the deaf schools everything suddenly looked black said evelyn so when she came to know that she is deaf and the doctor is asking her to move to a school of deaf she is saying everything became colorless it turned black now what does she means everything suddenly look black it means that all of a sudden you get such bad news you get some news that you don't expect and in return you see blackness all around that is how evelyn responded to this news but so coming to the third para but evelyn was not going to give up so now this shows she had a determination, she has a confidence. Although Evelyn got such a shocking news, still she was determined and she did not want to give up. So now she was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music. Pursue means to follow. So Evelyn was passionate about music. This news also did not break her. She was determined to life, live like normal people and follow her interest in music. One day, she noticed a girl playing a xylophone. So children just see the picture of xylophone. The upper part, the wooden construction. So it's a musical instrument made up of wood. The first, that is the xylophone. Okay. And decided that she wanted to play too so so when evelyn saw a girl playing the xylophone she wanted to play it most of the teachers discouraged her but percussionist run frops spotted her potential so percussionist means a person who plays the drum the tabla a person who play different music musical instruments okay so everybody discouraged Evelyn because they knew that she could not hear and hearing was an important part of music but Ron Forbes saw that Evelyn was very passionate about music and so this he decided something Ron for he began by tuning two large drums to different notes. Here tuning means to change the note of the drum. High, low, pitch, low, anything he can put the 
so he has just changed the uh, setting of the drum and he began so ron forbes uh, thought that he would teach evelyn to feel music he took two large drums and he tuned them to different notes drums are musical instruments yeah i'll show you the picture here these types of drums okay so this is there so now what he did so drums are the musical instrument that he tuned them he tuned each drum to different notes so the sound produced by the drums was different so it was a distance both the drums made different sounds then he told evelyn what he told to evelyn now come to the paragraph don't listen through your ears he would say try to sense it some other way that means forbes said to her don't try to listen through your ears because already your ears are distorted he said that try to sense it try to feel the music some other way now as your hearing capacity is lost now try to feel the music okay says evelyn suddenly i realized i could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down now she started feeling okay so now everything so she started feeling from the upper part of evelyn body above the waist waist mein kamar ke upar could feel the higher notes of the drum when the higher pitch of the drum is played she was feeling from her upper part of the waist and the lower part of her body the path down from the waist could feel the lower notes of the drum jab us drum ki awaaz high hoti thi to usko kamar ke upar se feel hona shuru ho jata tha aur jab drum ki awaaz niche hoti thi aur uske dhun niche hoti thi to usko kamar ke niche feel hota tha wo sari baatein okay now coming to the Forbes repeated the exercise and soon Evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body so now what happened so this shows how Evelyn can listen sound although she cannot hear she can sense different notes in different parts of her body okay so now she started sensing the things from different part of the body i had learned to open my mind and body to sound and vibration the rest was sheer determination and hard work sheer means pure so fox taught evelyn to respond to different sounds from different parts of body and that is how she could identify the sound and the different vibrations now once she could identify the sounds and vibration the hurdles had been overcome and evelyn career went upward as she had determination to become famous a good musician and she also did a lot of hard work okay children so sure means a pure determination she was having coming to the next paragraph she knew she sorry she never looked back from that point onward so when she is already overcame the hurdle when she was overcame with the hurdle she started sensing the different sounds through different parts of the body she progressed in her career she never looked back from that point she toured the united kingdom with a youth orchestra and by that time she was 16 she had decided to make music her life so youth here means young people like who are in college or high school orchestra is a group of music a rock band so what happened here so evelyn toured the united kingdom I means she was awesome in her performance in united kingdom and perform with youth orchestra by the time uh, evelyn reached the age of 16 she had decided to take music her life 
she auditioned for the royal academy of music and scored one of the highest mark in history of the academy so audition means to give small kind of performance so here in the slide it is told that avelin gave an audition for the admission to the royal academy of music and her score was higher was the highest in the history of the academy no other person had scored such a high score as avelin did she gradually moved from orchestral group work to solo performance so now like it orchestral work is a group performance so now she what she did so initially in order to get in order to gain the confidence she started working in a orchestral group now slowly slowly she started to give the solo performance to give performance alone so at the end of a 3 years course she had captured most of the top awards so what happened she had achieved all the top awards by the time she's completed her 3 years course at the royal academy of music okay let's come into the fifth paragraph if uh, sorry academy at the uh, and for all this avelin won't accept any hint of heroic achievement so it means if anyone says that evelyn has done something great she does not acknowledge that she is very humble and down to earth that means if anybody says she is very perfect she is very good she has done a good job so she doesn't listen to all kind of appreciation that was given to her because she is very down she is very humble okay next line if you work hard and know where you are going you will get there so now avelin says that two important things for success what are the two important things that she gave first hard work and secondly aim so she says that if you work hard and you have an aim a target which you have to achieve then you will definitely achieve it so what are the two things for success first one is hard work and second one is aim ek to aapki ichha aapke apne paas pata hona chahiye kya karna hai aur usko usko karne ke liye hame kya karna hota hai wo agar aapko pata hoga then you will become a successful person nobody can stop you to achieve the success in your life suppose your aim to become something to score the first position and then you start working hard on that direction then nobody can stop you to achieve that place okay my dear children so moving ahead and she got right to the top the world's most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some thousands of instruments and had take international schedule so here most sought after means the most popular in demand now what happened avelin also achieved her goal she worked hard and she had an aim to become the top most the top famous the most sought after musician of the world and she did it that she gained mastery of almost 1000 musical instrument wow what a great thing no 1000 musical instruments she played and all these things she played with her sense okay and she is the most popular um, most popular multi percussionist of the world she has a very busy schedules she has program and concert all over the world so she has a very hectic international schedules she has programs and concert all over the world she became very famous coming to the next paragraph it is intriguing to watch avelin function function so effortlessly without hearing so intriguing means fascinating and curious or interesting so when you watch evelyn work or perform so effortlessly although she cannot hear you can get very curious because 
Evelyn can identify the slightest, the minute sound made by the musical instrument because she feels the vibration from different part of the body. So, even there is no point she is confused, she never give any kind of confusion. Whenever any performance is, uh, if whenever any performance is there, she can easily identify a minute sound also. In our two hour discussion, she never missed a word. So now, the writer Deborah Curley took Aveline's interview, which lasted for two hours. And Deborah says that Aveline never missed a single word that she spoke. Okay. So she said when she was men with bushy beards give me trouble, she laughed. Evelyn says that those men who have long, huge bushy beard give her trouble. Why do they give her trouble? Because when she speak when they speak, they cannot see, she cannot see their lips movement as their lips are covered with their bushy beards. So now, by saying this thing, she started laughing. It is not just watching her lips, it's the whole face, especially the eyes. So, Avalyn says that she does not only see the lip movement of person's face to make out what the person is speaking, but she also sees the whole face, that means the entire expression of the speaker's face and identify what the person is saying. She adds the expression of the eyes help her to make out what the person sitting in front of her wants to say. She speaks flawlessly with a Scottish lit. So lit here means rhythm. Flawlessly means without any fault, without any mistake that is perfectly. So, writer says that Avalanche speak is flawless, perfectly correct and she has a Scottish accent because she belongs to Scotland. My speech is clear because I could hear till I was 11, she says. So, now Evelyn is saying that she can speak clearly because she had learned the language. She studied till the age of 11 till the time she could hear properly but that doesn't explain how she managed to learn French and master basic Japanese so but after becoming deaf Evelyn also learned two new languages wow that's good no she has learned French and basic Japanese so one wonder that how could she learn these two new languages also Despite her deafness, means being a deaf, she also learned two other language. That was something great, no? As for music, she explains, it pours in through every part of my body. It tingles in the skin, my cheek wounds and even in my hair. Tingle is a cause of slight prickling or stinging sensation. You have a good goody type, you have a good goody type. That is tingles. So now what happened? Here Avril explains that how does she identify music? It creates sensation in her skin, in her cheek bone and even in her hairs or hair also. So every part of Avril's body responds to music. Second line. When she plays the xylophone, she can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips. So xylophone, how she feels? feels she feel from her fingertips she used sticks and she can sense the vibration of the sound produced by the xylophone and it passes through the stick up to up into her finger tip by leaning against the drum she can feel the resonance flowing into her body resonance is echo sound okay this means tones everything that's echoes so when Evelyn play the drum, she leans towards the drum. Uske paas sadke jana. And she can feel the ego flowing into her body. So the sound aati thi, uske jo 
आवाज रिपीट होती थी दैट इज फ्लोइंग इन टू हर बॉडी ऑन अ वुडन प्लेटफॉर्म शी रिमूव्स हर शूज सो दैट द वाइब्रेशन पास थ्रू हर बेर फीट एंड अप हर लेग्स सो नाउ हियर सो वेन एवर एवलिन परफॉर्म्स शी परफॉर्म्स ऑन अ वुडन प्लेटफॉर्म एंड देर वॉट शी यूज टू डू शी यूज टू रिमूव हर शूज so that she can feel the vibration of the musical instrument pass through the floor into her feet and upper legs that is how she can feel the music of the musical instrument not surprisingly avelin delights her auditions in 1991 she was presented with the royal Philharmonic Society's prestigious soloist of the year award. So now Evelyn is a delight to hear. She gives a very good performance, solo performances. Okay. So in the year nineteen ninety one, she was presented with this award. What was the name of the award? Royal Philharmonic Society prestigious soloist of the year award for performing also. So she got an award. in 1991 as a soloist performer of the year says master percussionist james blade so one of the percussionist what is it starting line that we have read at the starting of the lesson what was the line god may have taken her hearing but he has given her back something extraordinary what we hear she feels far more deeply than any one of us that is why she expresses music so beautifully so now james blade is a master percussionist and his words were the one that we read before we started reading the chapter isn't it yes recall that starting thing so now according to him God took away Evelyn's hear ability, hearing ability, but in return, He gave her a strong power of sensing sound, which enabled her to become a great musician. कहा जाता है ना भगवान एक दरवाजा बंद करता है तो दूसरा खोल देता है. We have learned, we have heard about this proverb, no? तो वही चीज़ उसके साथ भी हुआ कि He has taken her hearing capacity, hearing ability, and in return he gave a strong power of sense sensing sound and which makes her to become a great musician that helps her to become a great singer musician not singer musician because she can play all kind of music evelyn confessed that she is something of a workaholic workaholic means a person who find it difficult just to stop work okay So Evelyn is very hard working. She does not want to stop work. She does not stop working. Okay, उसे काम ना करना बड़ा अजीब लगता है. She continuously used to work. I have just got to work often harder than classical musician. So now she is saying to be a part of. to be a part with those people who can hear who are classical musician evelyn works very hard okay but the rewards are enormous so whatever things are enormous there means huge so she is working very hard as a result she get huge rewards apart from the regular concert evelyn also gives free concert in prisons and hospitals so evelyn used to do charity also she give free concerts in hospitals and prison she also give high priority to classes for young musician so now what she used to do she also takes care for young musicians for those children who want to learn music and rachelin of the withoven fund for deaf children says she is a shining inspiration for deaf children they see that there is no veil that they cannot go so here evelyn is an 
inspiration for all. She is an ideal and rich children who belongs to the Beethoven Fund for Deaf Children says that. What do you say? Aveline is an inspiration for those children who cannot hear. And when they get to know Aveline's story, they feel that they can accomplish everything. They can fulfill all their dreams. So, Aveline Glaney has already accomplished. So, accomplished means proficient, talented. More than most people twice her age. Okay. So, she already achieved so much in her life than those people who are double her age have also not achieved those many things that much popularity and those many awards as Evelyn has done. Okay. She has brought percussions to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving. So, orchestra is a group of people who are playing different musical instrument as earlier discussed. The percussion instruments like drum and the xylophone are placed at the back end of the orchestra or they are placed at the side but as Aveline performs solo, she gives special performances with these percussion instruments. The percussion instruments have come in front of the orchestra. So, when she used to play, these instruments are kept in front. She has given inspiration to those who are handicapped people who look to her and says, if she can do it, I can. And not the least, she has given enormous pleasure to millions. So, here in the last line is uh, said that, Abelin's story is an uh, inspiration to those people who are physically disabled. They feel that if Evelyn can achieve her dreams, even they can. And Evelyn has given a lot of pleasure to her audience by playing such good music. So, my dear children, here we get a message from Evelyn's bio sketch that handicap may be countered, problems may be overcome, and Aspirations can be realized if one is firmly resolute and confident. Those who do learn to overcome hardship certainly achieve the highest goal. There is always a way out of the challenges of life. Only one has to trace the way and adhere to it with unstaggering faith in one's ability so this is the message given by evelyn glaney so i think my dear children you are also inspired and motivated by this story by the bio sketch of evelyn glaney because it is her willpower it is her deadly dedication to learn music she become famous and she left to be that behind thousands of musicians and she come out with the glittering star in that thousands of crowd being having impaired hearing capacity she was the shining star among the thousands of organists so this is what the willpower, deadly dedication, we need to be a successful person in the life. Okay, my dear children. So, go through this story, get motivated, have inspiration and believe in yourself. Okay, so develop all this thing in yourself and I am sure you will be, everyone will be in a good position. You all will be a successful student, successful person in your life. So, just go through the lesson till then bye take care and thank you so much